As they search for ways to improve fuel economy, automakers spend a lot of time testing and researching in wind tunnels like this. Our job here is to reduce aerodynamics because by reducing the aerodynamics, we can improve on fuel economy. So if we can make the vehicle very easy to push through the air, then that means that you have to use less gas. Even large vehicles can achieve good aerodynamics. Engineers have designed this soon-to-be-available Chevrolet Traverse to have a coefficient of drag equal to that of a Corvette Z06, making the eight-passenger crossover as fuel-efficient as many mid-sized sedans. There's a few things that automakers do to try and help the aerodynamic profile of the vehicle, and obviously smoothing out the underbelly to create less turbulence is one. A deeper air dam in the front to create less drag in the front end and really pump up the fuel economy. The other thing is a cam back design in the back. That back end drops off really steeply. That kind of creates a, a nice uh, turbulent effect after, uh, the, you know, with the airflow. A cam back along with a rounded front and tapered corners are some of the many aerodynamic elements that GM is developing in their new E-Flex design studio, where the highly anticipated electric drive Chevrolet Volt is being designed. A vehicle like the Volt, where it's it's electrically propelled and we've stated that it's going to go 40 miles on electricity alone aerodynamics are going to be the thing that allows first and foremost allow this vehicle to meet that target every count of aerodynamic drag has a corresponding effect on how far this vehicle can go and how can you improve the aerodynamics of the car you're driving right now first thing is to take any bike ski or luggage racks off of your roof when you're not using them and secondly keep your car clean and waxed it will make your vehicle slipperier as you drive down the road. I'm Chris Hansen.